My dear students, welcome to Unit 4, Week 12. That extends from May 26th till May 30th. Um, this is your English Language and Literature course for Grade 7. We're going to start our week with an introduction to myths. You're going to identify characteristics of myths, define myths, identify common characteristics such as supernatural elements, gods and goddesses, heroes, and moral lessons. Our word wall includes myth, legend, folklore, god, goddess, supernatural, quest, and moral. Our word, we're going to start with a first tutorial uh, video which is going to talk about what are myths and you're going to write effective notes. Then you're going to have an interactive activity related to that. You're going to watch another video which is going to talk about features of a myth and take effective notes. Um, then you're going to generate a poster. In groups, make a poster about the myth chosen for your group. In the poster, include the name of the myth, the origin of the myth, the characters, and the theme. Make sure that you include visuals to make your poster eye-catching. Uh, group one is going to work on the flight of Icarus. Group two is going to work on the myth of uh, Oisin on the land of eternal youth. Group three is going to work on the myth of the moon goddess. Group four is going to work on the Egyptian myth of Isis and the seven scorpions. Um, then you're going to have further practice, a challenging questions that are going to be in the link, a self-assessment, and for what to do tomorrow, I would like you to explore various types of myths from different cultures around the world, including creation myths, hero myths, and cultural myths. Now, um, on lesson two, you're going to deliver engaging and impactful presentations across various settings and audiences. In this, um, in this lesson, you're going to present your posters our word wall includes deliver engaging impactful presentation and criteria. You're going to have rubrics to, uh, about your presentation. Uh, please check the rubrics and make sure that you are implementing the rubrics in order to uh, get a high mark in your presentation. You're going to watch a video about how to deliver an engaging and impactful presentation, an interactive activity, um, another video about how to master your presentation, another interactive activity, a further practice, challenging questions that are through a link, a self-assessment, and for what to do tomorrow, I'd like you to revise everything you took. You're going to click on the picture to take you to the activity. Now for lesson three, you're going to read and annotate how grandmother spider stole the sun. Our word wall is going to include Native American myth, legend, independent reading, earth, light, and sun. You're going to uh, go to the text. Uh, for the two-year-old one, you're going to watch a video about how Grandmother Spider stole the sun and take effective notes, uh, an interactive activity. You're going to watch another video about it and have another interactive activity related to that, a further practice. And for the challenging question, how do you think the sun or the animals in the myth, how Grandmother Spider stole the sun, might feel about Grandmother Spider's actions? Would they see her as a hero or a troublemaker and why? A self-assessment and for what to do tomorrow, I would like you to revise everything you took through an interactive activity by pressing on next picture. Now for lesson four, we're going to work on grammar, direct and indirect object. You're going to identify direct and indirect objects in sentences and you're going to explain uh, the organization of direct and indirect objects in the sentence, in a sentence pattern. Our word wall is going to include objects, direct objects, indirect objects, action, verbs, transitive verbs, intransitive verbs, and linking verbs. Uh, you're going to have, uh, uh, first of all, you're going to access the ebook lesson on Savas. You're going to watch a video about subject, direct object, and indirect object. And uh, for, for the interactive activity one, you're going to compose 10 original sentences on your papers, swap papers with classmates. You're going to underline the direct object in purple and the indirect 
object in yellow on your peer's paper. You're going to correct any errors you see. When complete, you should return the paper to the owner and discuss any changes. Then you're going to watch a video about transitive and intransitive verbs. Then you're going to have an interactive activity on your ebook, uh, further practice, and uh, you, you're going to ask to answer a set of challenging questions, a self-assessment, and to prepare for next class, you're going to go through the PowerPoint attached and check the verbs which take two objects. Lesson five is going to be uh, a completion for lesson uh, four, which is going to talk about direct and indirect objects as well. Um, here, you're going to watch a video about direct and indirect objects, and you're going to decide the right answer. Decide whether the words in bold are subject, direct object, or indirect objects. You're going to watch another video that explains uh, objects in the sentence. Uh, you're going to have another uh, interactive activity. Um, for the further practice, you're going to recognize direct objects. You're going to write the following sentences and underline the verb in each of the following sentences, then circle the direct object. Uh, challenging questions, self-assessment, and um, to prepare for the, night, for the next class, I would like you to write a paragraph expressing your opinion about this unit, unit four. I can't wait to start this fruitful week with you guys. Um, peace out.